In this section I want to talk about different tools you can have access in 3D Cutout. First of all camera is to select camera and if you don't have any camera already you will get a message to cre create one camera. A new camera you will create at once is a free camera with no target. And after that once again if you want to select the camera you can press the button. Next undo and redo move rotate and scale which are used for transform a squash in some places some cases for animation you will use a squash and in order to re mirror a part of character we will select it and then put the time of slide to the desired frame we don't have to turn on auto key and then click on mirror there will be a key and that key is a step in a frame and in one frame you will get the mirroring also you can put the mirror to any other sections you want these four keys are for mirroring in different direction and align for aligning for instance if we have another character and if we want to align them we can click on align and then choose the right axis and align characters if we select one part of a character and s press select asset all the assets of the character are selected sometimes after we move one part of a character we want to come back to the default pose and then we just need to press default pose in some of the plans which are full of objects for instance this plan which has several characters once the animator would like to animate if we press the play button the frame rate might be slower so the animator can just select one object and press isolate also you can select some objects together or some characters together and some objects from them and then press isolate now frame rate is in better situation if you want to remove one character completely from the scene then we can choose one part of it and press delete also delete key on the keyboard does the same thing now if we have an object which is linked to a character and the character is linked to another object and each of them has an animate for themselves like this yeah and if you want to have several of them in the scene we just need to select them and press clone asset clone asset clones the objects we want and the good thing is that all the links and uh, objects will be also animated 